Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range today and here we've got the Stoger STR9F, F for full size. This is a new release for 2022. It has a 4.7 inch barrel and 17 round mags. They also have a flat face trigger which steps away from the other Stoger models. It's more of a rounded trigger. I'm measuring it at five and a half pounds with a very short reset. Nice ergonomic feel, budget priced, MSRP 329, I have not shot it yet. It does have metal three dot sights, a loaded chamber indicator bar on top of the slide, a full pick rail for the accessories, nice grip texturing, 117 round mag interchangeable back straps one with that 329 msrp all steel guide rod a, a nice option a budget price option with a full-size handgun approximately the size of a glock 17. so let's go ahead and take a few shots these are my first shots with this gun we'll start with a center hold and we'll start with the top Let me get that, there it is. We'll go back here. All right, so the center hold work. And that's why I said that, you know, sometimes, you know, I've got more than just this out here today and they all hit a little bit different. So those were my first shots, not with uh, STR-9, but with this particular one, the STR-9F. Now, $329 is a great price. There's no doubt about that, but it includes one magazine and one backstrap. People say, where do you get the mags? Check the site. They have them on their site right now. Uh, check out that trigger guard. It does have an undercut in the trigger guard. Slight finger grooves. Not even, I wouldn't even say, I'd say those are bumps. I wouldn't say they're grooves. Front serrations, and they're known for deep cut serrations. See those forward serrations, pretty deep cut, and it does bevel out or bevel in in the front of the muzzle there. But overall, not bad. That was 10 shots. Not bad, I love full size handguns. I have quite a few, including 1911s. There's something about a full-size handgun. Well, I'll tell you what that something is, accuracy. You definitely get better accuracy with a full-size handgun, all right? I am not saying anything that hasn't been said before, but it does increase your shooting confidence at the range. So if you're going through a period where you're having trouble with your accuracy, and I'm not talking small little groups, okay? I don't concern myself with that. You know, this right here is combat effective if it hits the body, if you need to. And so, if you're struggling at the range, get a full-size handgun, get that confidence down, and then try it again with something smaller. Uh, easy disassemble, all right, it breaks down, same as the Glock, it does have those takedown levers. Off comes the slide, there's your steel guide rod, single recoil spring, 4.7 inch barrel, and pretty beefy rails right there all right so the you know it, it's made in turkey some people ask me that i said where's that made i said it's in turkey so that's what's going on there but i like that flat face trigger i think uh stoger did a nice job with that and overall a pretty you know that uh, those are my first two mags and i think i shot it pretty well Let's see if the STR9F will charge when forcing a mag in the well. And unlike, whoa, that was, that was really stuck there. Let's try that again. At that time it did. Most polymer frame handguns will do that. How about a lip wrist test? And a little issue there, trying to figure that out. I don't think it ejected. 
Perhaps it did. It did not. Let's try it again. And that time it did not chamber. All right. These things happen all the time. Remember, uh, up the Gundam style. And there's another. Did not chamber. Let me go ahead and get that round out. All right. All right, so I guess it did a little better as we went along. Some people mentioned to me that their STR9 mag did not drop freely. That drops pretty freely. Now, it's been a couple years now. I believe it was 2019 where they came out with the original STR9. I got a hold of one of those. Then I got the STR9 compact. And I didn't see a great difference, you know, 4.1 inch barrel, I believe, and 3.8 inch barrel, 15 round max. So I still have the compact, and now I have the STR9F. I like the way it fires, I have to say. I think it's a pretty sharp looking gun, and I certainly like the price. MSRP 329, I, I think it's a fine gun for that price. I'm not trying to sell you on it, I'm just letting you know what I have what I'm showing off and that's pretty much what making videos is all about if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe